The Opal Cliffs Recreation District received a permit last year to manage and care for Privates Beach. But the Coastal Commission believes Privates Beach is too private because it's, ac it's accessible only to those holding a key to its locked iron gates. There are Coastal Commission permits from the 1980s and 1990s allowing the district to manage the park. Before entering Opal Cliffs Park, there is a nine-foot-high fence, a gate, and a key card that has an annual cost of $100. Approximately 800 people are key holders and have access. The money helps for maintenance and upkeep of the park. You open this to the public, bless them, but there will be beach fires, there will be trash, and it's not patrolled. They're here, there's a nice, nice gate guard that watches over the place and rowdies are not really encouraged here. Mark Macera is the attorney representing the Opal Cliffs Recreation District. He says the district has a 60-year tradition of managing the park with the fence, gate, and key card access program. The district will waive the $100 park fee during the summer from Memorial Day through Labor Day. The district is not in the business of stifling public access. Indeed, they've been providing public access since before the Coastal Commission came into existence. Dan Carl, director for the Central Coast District of this Coastal Commission, believes private speech should be open 365 days a year, not just during a four-month-long summer window. The commission argues not everyone can afford to pay $100 for access and that maintaining current restrictions to private speech could set precedent up and down the coast of California. This is a public agency, this is public property, this is a public beach. This is the only public agency of we're aware of in the state of California charging a fee for beach access. We just don't think it's appropriate under the law. Carl says the park would remain open during the day, but closed at night to prevent security issues, which means that regardless of the Coastal Commission decision on access, that that nine-foot high fence could remain. Dan? Thank you very much, Phil. The Coastal Commission is scheduled to meet on the issue on Thursday in Oxnard. However, if they agree to take up the issue, a public hearing would be set for later this year.